Hello everybody, welcome back to Garner Gaming. My name is Garner Gamer, we're playing more Terraria. It's a new day, it's a brand new morning in the game, as well as it is in real life. It's not morning, but shh, that doesn't matter. Uh, we're gonna go back into the cave that we found last time so we can try and find something better than what we have, because we're running on cactus, and that's, it's not that great. Um, hopefully we can find something cool down here. I know the last time I ended, I ended on doing something stupid. Ooh, cool thing for the dye merchant. Um, I need to be able to buy the dye vat to be able to use those. Because I have three things. Uh, I guess it's two of the same one and then one of those ones that I have. So I can make a cool dye. We're going to go up here. Break some pots. Hopefully, oh, they got more torches. Sweet. Can never, ever have too many torches. Unless you have a million and a half, because that's really, I mean, there's not... Okay! That would have been instant death. I don't like the instant death. Later in the game it won't be, but right now I only have a max health of 100, so that would definitely be an instant death. What was uh, what was the gem I was looking for? Topaz. Oh my goodness, we found some topaz. Alright. So much for needing to hunt that down. There's some more right down here. Let's go make us a hookshot. I'm going to actually mine this out real quick. And then I'll go back and I'll showcase the hookshot like I did in the last one. I believe I did, anyway. I know I had at least an emerald one in that one. So it turns out that I need to have an anvil to make the hookshot. Apparently I... It's going to be a little bit longer before we can do that. Sorry! Uh, if I didn't show it in the video, which I probably did actually, but I died. I ended up teleporting back by dying. It's like the fastest teleportation ever. It just costs, you know, half your money. Could cost a lot more if I was on a different difficulty, but no, not happening this time. So I guess we'll look down here for some more ore. So we can get ourselves a hookshot so we can traverse everything else much easily, much more easily. Words, they're my favorite things in the world. Can't remember how much lead ore you need for a lead bar. Um, and I, can't, I think it's, it's 10 uh, bars to make one anvil. So let's just try to get all we can so that we can, so we don't have to come back down here to find more. That seems more like the amount that we'll need to get the anvil. To the surface! Ah, just like last time, death is what uh, sent us back to the house. Arr. Emeraldus got impaled by your ma. Okay, let's make these bars now. Lead bars. Yes, we can make 11. That means we can make a lead anvil and place it right, uh, put put it on the table, because that makes the most sense on making uh, an anvil. Okay, there's the hook. Awesome, now we can get that equipped. And now that we have the hook, we'll be able to, make, be able to traverse through some things a lot easier. It's not the longest hook. In fact, it's the second shortest, but it's something. You can't complain about having one of these because it can actually save you in a pinch. If you're falling down, from a very high spot and you don't want to die, you actually can do it downward and you won't die. Even though in reality you pull yourself closer faster, but it's a game, people. It's a game. <laughs> so now that we're also here, let's try to make as many silver bars as we can, which is only seven, which mm, I don't think is enough to make a pickaxe. Is it? No, it's enough to make a short sword, but that's not what we want to do. Um, we could make a bow. I think I might do that for, oh, it's the same. But then it doesn't take into the account the damage of the of the arrow. Um, yeah, I'm gonna make a bow because I like bows. They're fun. So we're gonna put that in five, and we're gonna make some more arrows as well. We only have twelve wood, but that'll be it's like sixty. It'll be like sixty arrows. Oh no, they changed it. Cool. It's a lot, a lot cheaper on here than they are on the console. Awesome! I think it's only five for... I think you only get five for one of those things on the console, so... This is a great... It's a great thing. Oh, it's a powerful one, too! Oh... It's not very strong, it's not very fast, but it does a lot more damage. Okay. That's good, I'm fine with that. It's something. I like bows and arrows in this game. I never... I wasn't entirely sure about it, but the last character that I made on the console... Um... Was all range-based, and he does amazing amounts of things and stuffs. Back to the cave now that we got a better weapon to fight with and hopefully we'll be able to get enough ore to make a better pickaxe I probably should have done that first before I made the bow but oh well a little too late 
I found Randy. Oh no, it's not Randy. It's Reggie. I forgot his name. I'm sorry, Reggie. I had to murder you with your inability to be cool. Okay, so now that we got this, these guys shouldn't be a problem either. Out of my way. Out of my way, snowflakes. It says flinks, right? Yeah. I didn't get your name wrong. I can't believe I did that to Reggie. And called him Randy. Just reminds me of that thing, uh, that song, I'd rather eat Randy. Hmm? That's a pretty funny little thing. Thought about it earlier today while I was at work. Shh. Okay. Um, so let's see if there is a thing near here. Doesn't look like there's something here, but we might be able to find something over in that direction. Looks like there's at least some emeralds over there, but then there's another cave down there. Let's go mine to the bottom one instead of the top one. Because it looks like that's just kind of a dead end with a couple emeralds, which is eh, meh. Don't really need that. Oh no. Is it a spider web? If it is, it's creepy. I don't like them. Oh no, I think it totally is the cobweb, is the spider's nest already. There's one right here. That's very close to the surface. I don't like those very much. Or at all, necessarily. The sucky part is it doesn't have any cool chest in here, so it's just kind of a creepy small spider's nest near the beginning of the game. I see a spider. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I mentioned this in the last playthrough, because I don't know if I ended up finding one, but that is the only thing in this game or any other game that actually gives me the chills because I just hate spiders so much. I don't know why they creep me out. They just do, all right? They just do. Ooh, this is gonna be good if we can make sure that we get a way out of here. Let's put a rope down because we don't want to get trapped up here. Is that long enough to reach from down here? Yes, good. So usually when you find something like this, ooh, and an ice chest. Ooh, what a great find. I am fine with this thing. Ha I'm fine with this happening right now. I really am. Not with these enemies attacking me right now. I'm really not fine with that. Damn it! Why did I have to die by a potion? But I found a potion. Die, and I needed to use a potion. Y you know what I meant to say there. Die by a bat. Uh, we'll be right back down here after the short after this short break. Okay, okay. Now that we found this again, we're gonna get this guy to go away. And then we'll go down and grab the chest, because it's probably got some good stuff in it. Light up the way, please. It's also got an emerald and, and rubies and stuff nearby. That's an amethyst. What do we got? We got a snowball cannon, which does range damage, damage as well. Um, well, I'm going to take it either way, and we can at least sell it and get good monies later. And we'll also have a chest to put stuff away, because we need that. Um, stop it. Stop it, batty batty bat. We're gonna light up this area so we can see what else is down here. Hmm, keg for a keg party. We must get the keg. It's the most necessary thing in the world. Fire! Ow. I don't like you very much, spiky ball. Okay, so as I was trying to say, as I was when I was so rudely interrupted by all of these things, these are great. You just jump on the mine mine track, which is a something which is something that you can make normally in like the older version of the game. But these are natural, uh, naturally occurring now, which I don't think was a thing before. I am out of torches. That is fine, except for I can't see anything. Uh, <laughs> so that's not very fine. I need to make. Do I have enough stuff to make more? No, I used all my wood to make arrows. Well then, uh, at least we can traverse with this. I still can't see a dang thing though. And I can't tell if I'm about to fall into death or not. Oh, danger. 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 I'm dying by things. I fell to my death. <laughs> Let's not let the spider touch my butt. Ugh, still give me the chills. Ride it. Ride it along the track. Which ends abruptly, absolutely nowhere important. But now I can see what I'm doing over here instead of being destroyed by any and all things. Did I just get hit by... I did. I just got hit by an arrow trap. Dang it. What is down here? I like all this stuff. This is how you level up. It's not really level up, but it's life up, and I like that too. Both things are a great thing to have happen. Okay. 
I don't have a name for you, because you have three names. You are a spiked ice slime, and I don't like your face. You are jerky pants. You are like a gravel thing. A granite thing, sorry, not a gravel thing. What am I, what am I talking about? Drop all these things. I want this, because I want another heart. That's right, that's how you upgrade your heart. You find more of those, which are everywhere underground. Eventually, you'll find more than you need, and you'll just kind of have a stockpile of them, just in case you have a future character on the same world, which I never do. But, it's a thing you can do. Just in case. Okay. Die, potato. Not today. You know how I mentioned that I die a lot in this game? Even though I played it a lot. This is a great example of that. Oh no, really? So there's another spider's nest that I just went straight through. There's nothing of extreme important. I'm still moving. That means that it doesn't pause when when I go into the map like that, which I kind of was hoping it did. So there's nothing great in this on this particular railroad. Dang it! Ow! Oh, he's dead. I forgot you can kill things when you're on this as well. Oopsie. But yeah, you can also break all this if you wanted to take it somewhere else and build a bridge of your own somewhere else. Which is not a bad idea. I condone that. Ow! There are traps everywhere down here. I think I'm gonna take them. Just so they don't kill me. Because, quite frankly, I'm sick of dying. This is where my gold went that I found in the chest. Good. Good, I need it. I need it for things and things. Oh god. You and your granite! Pomegranate! <sighs> Are you guys enjoying the series so, so far? I am, even though I'm dying a million times. It's my favorite game in the world. Ooh, I'm seeing that there should be a cave underneath the very far left side of this map. Right here. Let's go check that out. What the hell is that thing? A salamander? I guess now that makes sense. I've literally never seen that en that enemy in this game. I've literally never seen that. I think it's cool, don't you? We should see what it drops. It probably won't drop anything, because with my luck, the first time I run into an enemy, nothing will happen. Nothing special. What is that? Is that are those vines? That's crazy looking. Oh, uh, Hello, salamander. I'm going to shoot you with my bow. Oh god, you spit. Okay, he didn't drop anything but money. But I like money, so that's helpful. So let's take this over here. Go over this direction. Get off the track there. And it was right here, right? Yeah, we just gotta dig down. It looks like it might be glowing mushroom territory. And that would be great. Because, you know... That's the only thing that I want to... Would you just die by an arrow? Stupid cave bat. <laughs> oh, my my accuracy has gone completely down. Yes, because I'm paying attention to everything that, that might... I'm going to use one of these. I probably should have actually used an actual potion. But... Oh, well. Just got to wait a minute before I can do another one. Glowing mushrooms. Please tell me there's a house here. Because if there is, there's another chest. Ooh, there's at least another health upgrade. Oh, yeah. Bonus. There's a bonus to finding that. And there is a house, which means there's going to be a chest in it. No? Yes, there is one. Great. Great. This episode is a complete success, having found so many extra things. Blip. I love being able to do that as well. On the console version, you have to at least put something away or drop it for you to use that and put it into your inventory slot. Is that a bomb statue? Yeah. I was hoping it was a slime statue, but I am fine with finding something. Magic mirror out of everything that you can find right off the bat a magic mirror is the best because you know how I've been struggling to try and get out of everything else I don't know if I had one in the last one the magic mirror teleports you straight back to your spawn point Ah, oh, That is a very good find. I am so happy that this is what I found I'm gonna grab everything that I can don't really care about water walking potions But I do still want to take the chest which means I'm gonna have to drop something else which will drop the day blooms because I'm not doing alchemy right now. There is an anvil right there. I 
I guess I can, uh, nope, I won't take it. No, no need to take it. There was a trap. What is this potion? Danger sense potion. So it would, it would tell me that there's a trap on both sides of this thing. Okay. Well, this is a cool place to have found. If the, is there anything else nearby that I can just see on the map? Looks like there's more mushroom down there. I think I'll dig around instead of straight down. I don't want to drown that area. Oh, God. Stupid. You're stupid. Okay, we'll dig straight forward. So we won't drown out the area underneath. I'm seeing more off to the left side as well. I don't know if there's another house, though. There can be. If you're lucky enough, there might be another one. What is that jumping? Giant Shelly. It looks like a... <gasps> Ooh, okay. I have to go over there as well because there's another health upgrade. This is a very, very good place to be right now. It is a very great place. There's a bunch of enemies down there. Holy crap. I don't want to fight them. Um, let's use our hook shot and go this way. And meet up with the left side. Okay. Now that we have entirely avoided doing the thing that I avoided the first time, not drowning at the next area underneath, we can dig left. Why are there things all loose here? What went through? Maybe something set off the dart trap and it broke the stuff. Mining some gold. Gold is good for me and everybody else, but mostly me because I'm greedy. Only in Terraria when it actually is a thing that can be a thing. Oh my gosh, I really need to upgrade my pickaxe and my other tools. This is so slow, and I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep complaining about it. There's nothing you can say. There's nothing you can do about it. Jeez, <gasps> there's another chest. Awesome. Ow, you're a jerk. No, there are a lot of buttons over here to set off traps again. Why do the mushroom places need to be so booby trapped? No. No. H button. <laughs> not killing me today. No, not happening. Sorry. So many freaking enemies here. It's such booba trap. It's much booba trap. Such ouch. Whoa. Okay. That was weird. I don't have a double jump yet. Ooh, there's another anvil. Are you serious? I can't believe that. Okay. What's in this chest? And I'll have to cut the episode here. Yes. Now I can have multiple things that I have complained about completely taken care of. Now we just found Hermes boots. Not only are they here Hermes boots, but they are quick Hermes boots. So they'll make things, they'll make me move significantly faster. I can't double jump still, but the only thing I need to worry about now is fine, is getting better tools so I can go quicker that way. Ow! Oh! Don't. Yeah, but now, since I have these Hermes boots, I don't know if I had them in the other one. I probably didn't. I'm going to shut up about talking about the other one, because this is not the other one. If you run straight in, uh, if you run long enough in a straight path, I'll die. Don't you like that? It's like the best prize ever. <sighs> to the surface. Okay. Now that we're finally to the surface, even though that took so long, I could buy I could buy these things from this man, except for I don't have that much money because I keep dying. What's the point of the crimson cloak? I don't think there is one. Now I'm trying out. I can actually show you the thing that I can do with these boots. Look, I start to dash. I'm moving significantly faster, so the jumps from like whenever I cut from the episode will be significantly smaller because running back won't take as long. I, if I had a double jump to go along with it, it would make it so much better because I could just go like around stuff like that. Like it causes me to slow down again, but I'm glad that the things that we found this time are going to be significantly helpful, especially towards um, moving this playthrough along. Um, I really like playing this game as I keep mentioning and I'm not... Uh, I don't mean to be a broken record, as I mentioned in the last one that I was a broken record, but it's great. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this series. I'm going to have to, like, there's going to be a lot more cutting than there are in the other series that I'm doing, but um, I really like this game, and I think a lot of others enjoy this game as well, so I think it would be a good one to keep going along. I don't want it to be the only kind of series that I play on the channel, but um, we're going to teleport back home just to be safe. Um, but... 
Uh, I, I this series could be a huge. Has a, oh, sorry, I bumped the microphone. Could have a whole bunch of different parts to it. Um, I so far each of the episodes have been about 40 minutes long recorded, or at least beforehand before editing it down. I'm trying to get them down as small as I can so that you see just the best parts. So it's kind of like um, either funny moments or like a montage. It's not a montage, you know what I mean though, where it's just kind of the parts that are crucial to moving along. The next one I think um, I'll try to build some more houses to get some more NPCs, especially since now that I'm trying to get better stuff and I just found some better things underground that I'll be able to um, get a merchant so we can sell stuff and buy stuff and uh, move on from there. Anyway, I don't mean to ramble on, but if you guys enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you hadn't subscribed yet, hit that button as well. I'd really appreciate all of it. Comment, leave constructive criticism or just whatever the hell you want I really don't care I mean I just want to hear from you guys having some sort of feedback is great um but yeah I'll see you guys in the next video later gamers so I hit the arrow that kind of makes sense because when I hit him that's when he turned red in the first place why didn't that why didn't I think about that oh my brain being stupid stupid